All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is a boy True and Today's day is Saturday, October the 29th. So you're probably wondering where am I at because it's nighttime. Well, I'm at South Land Mall. It's been a little bit since I've last been here. It's been a little bit of a while since I've last been here, but it's been a really long time since I've done any type of content here. Now, why am I here? So there's a little feature in the game that probably most of you forgot is in the game, and that is this, biomes. So what are biomes? So biomes are like areas that you can find that spawn certain types of Pokemon. It's similar to Ness, but the thing for the Ness is the Ness is focusing on that one Pokemon spawning all over the place. Biomes spoken on certain types of Pokemon spawning all over the place. So I'm not sure where is that from this location, but there's a spot called Council Point Park, which is located in Lincoln Park, Michigan. That's a water biome. So water Pokemon are gonna be spawning all over the place. Here is a ghost biome. And because we got the Halloween event and you know, it's coming to an end by the time you're watching this video, it ending tomorrow. So there you go with that. So I decided to head out here Route is night, technically evening, but you get the point. And see if we can find some ghost Pokemon. And there's, I would check all these, as you can see over here, I would check all these. Nothing shiny here. Now, there is another thing that we need to look at, and that is that. So, War is now in the game. So, my last video that I put out, it didn't really age at all. Never mind, it didn't age real. It didn't age at all. Nope. So, we're going to go over everything that there is to know about Zoroa in Pokemon Go. So, what I'm actually going to do is go inside the mall. I'm not bringing this in because I don't know how secure they are with cameras and vlogging and stuff like that. I'm going to go in, walk around the mall, you know, went on shopping, you know, play Pokemon Go, see if anything crazy happens. I already got something in that gym right there. That spawn, that's crap. And any room for me in this gym? Yes. So yeah, we're gonna go in the mall. We're gonna see what's popping inside the mall, and then we're gonna be driving around the mall, and then we're gonna hit up this one park nearby, Heritage Park. I don't know what nest it is, but we're gonna find out at some point. Let's go. So I'm back after what, like 20 minutes of walking around inside the mall, because they actually closed at eight o'clock. Man, I miss the days when they used to close at nine o'clock. All right. So on my way out, though, we got this. Our eight. Seven kilometer eggs are now ready to hatch. So let's see what we got. We're looking for the Noibat and the Galarian Yamaz. Shiny versions are those, that is. And regular Yamaz. Don't need that anymore. All right, let's move on. Let's see what the next one is. Noibat. Okay, that's a start, but we need that to be green. How about this one? Phantom. We don't need that. Unless it's got good PvP IVs. But even with that, nah. Probably got one already. Regular Yamaz. Nope. Let's see. How about this one? Another Noibat. Okay. We need you to be shiny. How about this one? Another Noid bag. Okay, that's looking good. Another Noid bag, but it's not shiny. And I lost count. I had no clue how many eggs I got. A Phantom and... Oh, that's all of them. So, no shinies out of that batch, unfortunately. Now, let me check the IVs of all of these. I don't think any of them are good. And it looks like none of these are good. And we got a hundred Noi back the other day. So I'm gonna transfer all eight of these. Now let's talk about Zorua. So what do we know about Zorua so far? So it's in the game. So basically what's going on with Zorua is that, let me spin this real, I mean spin this, check this real quick. That's not shiny. I think I checked this already. Not shiny. So what we know is this. The only way you can get Zorua is you're going to see it spawn as whatever it is your buddy Pokemon is. Whatever it is. So as you can see, my buddy Pokemon is Mega Abso. Shiny Mega Abso. So if I were to walk around, I'm going to see a shiny Mega Abso on the map. I'm going to click on it. It's going to do its whole shiny animation fiasco. I'm going to catch it. And then it's going to say, oh, so you should be seeing a clip of this as we speak. That's how you get Zora. You don't have to do anything special to make it spawn. You can just open the game. It could be right there, as far as we know. Now, another thing that we do know is, you know how they got spawn points? So like, oh, Pokemon will be spawning at this is that spot for everybody. Its stats might be different depending on your level. So with Zorua, if there was a Zorua at this spot, now for me, it's gonna show up as Mega Abso. But let's say you are walking around with Galarian Moltres as your buddy. It's gonna show up at that same spot, but as a Galarian Moltres for you because that's your buddy Pokemon. But for me, my buddy Pokemon is Shiny Mega Abso. It's gonna show up at that same spot as Shiny Mega Abso. So 
a little bit of stuff that we know about Zorora as well. Now, there's other stuff that we know about it. There's some bugs associated with Zorora. I'm not sure they have them fixed now or by the time this video drops. So if this is fixed, let me know in the comment section below. But we're now going to drive around the area, look for more ghost types Pokemon. So yeah, let's go. I'm going this way this time. So I barely left the last spot was at, which was literally like down there. Now, why is that? Look at the map. There's a Galarian Moltres on the map, but wait a minute. I have not used my Daily Adventure instance. So what's going on here? Well, first of all, let's click on this. And then I'm gonna capture it, capture it rather, and then I'm gonna explain exactly what's going on with this Galarian Moltres. So as you saw, the Daily Adventure instance logo was not next to the name of this Pokemon. We're gonna catch it. We got the O. That is indeed a Zerora. It's not a Ditto, it's a Zerora. Now you're probably wondering, what happened? Isn't your buddy Shiny Mega Apso? And yes, yes it is. So this is actually one of the, as you can see, it still is. That's actually one of the bugs that I'm talking about. So prior to me getting here, I actually changed my buddy before I even started you know, recording. I changed my buddy, cause my buddy was Galarian Moltres. It was like that yesterday. So we're catching Galarian Moltres, sis, Galarian Moltres a lot yesterday. And then of course it was switched on over to Zeror. So today I switched it over to Mega Shiny Abso. Now for some odd reason, and this is a glitch, the game will take a route for it to recognize that you have switched your buddy. So if you were to come across a Zeror spawn point, Wherever your buddy was last, it's gonna spawn. It's gonna take a while before it registered that, oh wait, you switched buddies. And it's still in the process of doing that because as you saw, I caught a shiny Mega Absol and it swapped over to Zora. I did that, I did that twice inside the mall. But, and then I think I did out here, no, I didn't do it out here. But as you saw just now, a Galarian Moltres is out here. So that's one of the glitches that's going on right now involving Zora. Another one is this, now, not another glitch, but here's some interesting facts about it is this. Now, you could, I'm not sure how true this is, I haven't done it, but you could bypass all of this by bringing your buddy out because originally, you don't need to bring your buddy out to make Zora, or Zora rather, spawn all over the place. You don't need to do anything. Just play the game at normal. As long as you have a buddy Pokemon as a buddy, I guess, then you should be straight. But you don't need to bring it out. You don't need to engage with it, you know, like take a picture, feed it, play with it or anything like that. You don't need to do anything like that to make Zero respond. However, what I'm hearing is if you switch Pokemon, then you will need to bring it out so the switch can take place and you should be seeing your buddy Pokemon spawning as Zorora instead of your buddy Pokemon currently in combination with your buddy Pokemon previously. So I'm not sure how legit that is. If that is legit, let me know again in the comments below. We're gonna be learning all about this stuff. So let me know what discoveries you have found regarding Zorora in the comments section below. But yeah, we're gonna continue to mosey along around this area. Let's go. So we make, we did a lap around here. Now I'm about to do a second lap, and there's also a Galeria Masray that I'm about to approach. But before I got to that, look at this. A shiny spinneret. We finally got our shiny today. It's not a ghost type, but it is a shiny nevertheless. Excellent throw on that bad boy. I don't know what's up with the focus, but whatever. So this should be a catch, and it is a catch. That's what's up. So we got ourselves a shiny spinner rack you know what keep it right here whatever so there you go with that all right we got a shiny so we already had this family completed so wow this is a nice shiny to get that's not exactly one of the ones that we want and oh look we have the galarian raid right here so let me check the rest of these real quick and then we're going to send out the invite and i'm also going to adjust my camera nothing else here is shiny so give me a second all right, so I'm back. So while we are raiding on this time to go down so we can do this raid, let me also talk about, about Zorora, actually. So you're probably wondering, what's up with the whole Pokeball scenario? So any capture device, you know, like Pokeballs and Pokeball Plus and things of that nature, they are currently disabled. Now, the reason for that is because of a very interesting bug that was discovered. So here's what we're going on. The Pokeball Plus or whatever your capture device is, will automatically go off on Zoror. You know, you push the button or whatever the case may be. But instead of catching Zoror, it will capture whatever your buddy Pokemon is. So imagine this, cause I had no clue this was a thing, otherwise I would've tested this out. Imagine this, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens. 
if your buddy was a Galarian legendary, obviously that means you have to have one already. But so imagine if it was a Galarian legendary, right? And your device went off to try and capture it instead of, and it did capture it but instead of capturing your orb which was what was supposed to happen it instead caught your buddy pokemon which is the galarian legendary wherever it is imagine that that would be crazy and then you could be walking around with possibly five six seven galarian motrices and say yo i got these to trade what you got is better be good so dang i missed out on that but so because of that they cut it off. They completely shut it off. So it is what it is, unfortunately. So there, yeah, we got them with the Galarian mask. Let's see if we have a shiny. No, that is not shiny, unfortunately. That is one of the ones that I won, actually. So there you go with that. Now, there is another thing about Zor. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but there is one more thing to know about Zorora. Obviously, you need 50 candies to evolve into uh, Zororak, how you pronounce that thing. But there is one more bit of news about Zorora. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. So, I'm going to do one more lap around here, then we're going to hit up the park. I need to pick up them Pokestops. And then after that, I'm going to get something to eat. So yeah, stay tuned. Alright, so I made my way toward Heritage Park and I did my lap. I used my Daily Venture Incense and nothing spectacular happened, but something did happen and it actually jogged my memory. So I'm walking around with the incense on and I encounter a shiny saber eye, as you can see over there. So I caught the saber eye, right? You know, oh, it's a shiny saber eye. Let me capture this thing. So I'm capturing it and then all of a sudden, psych! Psych! It was actually a Zorora. So I actually changed my buddy again from Shiny Mega Absol to Shiny Saber Eye. And that's actually the thing I forgot. Now, you don't have to just be walking around and hoping to encounter Zorora. Actually, you can actually encounter Zorora from your regular instance, from a lower module, and from your daily adventure instance. So yes, those are all the ways you can capture uh, Zorora, along with just chilling and it just shows up right in front of your face. So... And I'm wasting stuff right there if I do say so myself. So, I believe I covered everything that there is to know about Zora at this point in time of me recording this video. If there's anything that I miss or anything that I cover in this video that has been changed, let me know in the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen. And if you reach this point in the video, type in the comment section, scary. Scary. Blah. So, yeah. There you go with that. I'm gonna call it a wrap, I need to get pick up food within the next 14 minutes. So with all that said, y'all know what this is. This is New Jay Gatsby, aka New Stimulate Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. So I'm at the restaurant and I got my food. Now, there's one thing that I forgot to bring to you guys as the focus is not good, but then there's another thing that actually happened. So the first thing is this. So while I'm at my first spot, where I was driving around the mall, I actually found a shiny Murkrow. So I forgot to talk about that in the last clip. Now, what actually happened prior to the last clip, and I had no clue this happened, my 7K eggs hatched, I think I had eight of them, and I had no clue that they hatched. So I'm spinning Pokestops, and I'm looking, and I'm filled up with 2K eggs and like two 5K eggs, but I forgot to check and see what I hatched. So as I'm coming here, I got this, the shiny Galarian mask. I can't believe I got that. And these IVs, they look cool. They look really, really cool. So we're gonna go ahead. Oh, we can't evolve this. We can't evolve it. We gotta finish the challenge. We're in 10 raids with this. Okay, now one thing that we can evolve, however, and I forgot to do this as well, is we're gonna evolve our Zorua. So we got some, this one right here. So we're gonna evolve this one real quick. And I just saw something that just reminded me of another thing that we know about Zorua, and that is this. If you have a buddy that is not fully healthy for some odd reason and you capture your Zorua, it's health, it will not be fully healthy as well. It's going to match the same amount of HP your buddy has. It's very, very weird. It's a weird glitch. Niantic knows about it and they are working on it. And there it is right there. Pokedex entry Zorua. And let's see about these CP. Is it good enough for 1486, which is bland? And this ride right here. Look at that. 11414. And at this moment in time, it cannot be used in PvP either. You can't use it in raids, but you can't use it in PvP, Go Battle League, or anything like that. So, there's more things that I learned about, that we know about Zorora. I forgot to mention that 
earlier. So again, is there anything else that I forgot? Let me know in the comment section below. The keyword to type in the comment section is still scary. And I'm gonna see y'all next time. Let's go. It didn't really age at all. Never mind it didn't age real. It didn't age at all. Nope. Psych! <laughs> Thanks, man. Let's do it. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulate and paint. With my tongue, I done things that people said I can't. Yeah, they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm a hit and move away.